بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. We continue reading from Imam Ghazali's The Jews of the Quran, Jawahir Quran. And uh, we have reached the we're done with the uh, sciences of the shell uh, of the Quran and now we're going to start the uh, second type of sciences of the pith lubab it has two grades two layers since it, in Arabic it is tabaqa so the lower grade, the lower level, the lower layer of the sense of the three Quranic divisions, which we have termed and complete the more important three divisions. These lower senses are as follows. So the lower grade is of the senses of the three Quranic divisions, which we have termed as those that follow and complete follow and complete the more important three divisions these lower senses are as follows the first concern concerns the knowledge of the stories narrated in the quran of what is related to the prophets to the deniers of god and to his enemies to the enemies of uh, of god we simply وما يتعلق بالجاهدين والاعداء اعداء اعداء الدين the enemies of the religion the enemies of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم enemies of the muslims enemies of allah سبحانه وتعالى storytellers Qussas, preachers, and some of the traditionalists, traditionists here me it means the al muhaddithun um, maybe uh, maybe hadith scholars rather than traditionists are responsible for this kind of knowledge. The need for this knowledge is not universal. For moving to the second uh, division, um, yes, uh, we have the Qussas, uh, the preachers, and before that, the storytellers. The storytellers are not known 100% to uh, to uh, narrate the uh, sound traditions. To uh, they are they are storytellers in the real sense. So while they they might uh, narrate uh, story, they might not differentiate between. Uh, stories that are they fit the Islamic worldview and stories that come for for example from Israeliyat from the uh, people of the book uh, from Jews and uh, Christians and here we uh, not only uh, it comes from the people book from Israeliyat it, it does not really it cannot be reconciled the, these stories cannot be re reconciled with the Islamic worldview and we have given ample examples before um, it could be the story of Yusuf السلام, not understanding really uh, the uh, the temptation that it was really one-sided it was only the wife of the uh, Al Aziz the uh, wife of the king who uh, 
uh, wanted to uh, seduce Yusuf Salam. There was nothing going on in his heart. It was pure. There's nothing going on. Or uh, if we talk about uh, uh, Sayyidina Dawood they have uh, stories that he's a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's a messenger. He received revelation. He received Zabur. And when I say Book of Psalms, of course, we don't talk about the uh, the book that uh, they still have because it is uh, full with uh, extremely problematic uh, narratives and uh, commands and um, unethical. Uh, it cannot be basically the word of uh, of God. It's very simple, like uh, the uh, the the order to uh, smash the uh, heads of babies of enemies against the rocks that cannot be revelation that cannot be religion that cannot be Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala neither um, not during any stage of uh, the history of revelation so the uh, the storytellers might include uh, you know uh, something uh, they might also lie literally uh, there's a story about the lamash uh, uh, end up, ending up in a circle where the storyteller was saying Al Amish narrated to me, Al Amish told me uh, Hadith Al Amish and Al Amish stood in the middle of the uh, of the circle of learning and told him I am the Al Amish and I did not really narrate to you I did not really teach you I did not walam uhadithuk Hadith Al Amish walam uhadithuk walam uhadithuk the second concerns God's argument with the infidels and his dispute with them. From this division stems the science of theology, Ilm al Kalam, intended to repel errors and heresies with regard to Islamic religious beliefs and to remove doubts related to them. Theologians are responsible for this science. We have explained this science at two uh, levels. The lower level we have explained in the epistle from uh, Jerusalem, Rasul Qudsiya, Fil Aqaid, and the higher level in the mean in uh, belief. Al Iqtisad Fil I'tiqad. This science is meant to uh, guard the layman's religious belief against the confusion created by the heretics uh, layman we don't have uh, we don't have such a uh, a construct in uh, Islam, layman versus uh, clergy. We don't have clergy per se. We do have scholars, but we don't have uh, ordained clergy and what have you. But you might say the uh, it, it is intended to uh, protect, to guard the uh, religious belief of uh, uh, of the common uh, people. Because it's really how harassed the Aqidah of the Awam against the confusion created by the heretics. Heretics, well, uh, against the confusion of al mubtadia innovators rather than heretics. Not every uh, confusion comes from a non-believer, because if once you say heretic, this is it. And sometimes people within, still within the religion, the realm of religion, within the realm of Islam and they might, they might really. Uh, 
those who insist on uh, face value of the anthropomorphic versus uh, they are in, in deep trouble but one cannot say anything except that they are Muslims one might say misled my okay this science does not concentrate on the intuitive knowledge of realities with this kind of science are related a the book we composed on the incoherence of the philosophers the half of the philosopher but that's the name it's the topic but it's also the title Twenty issues, Imam Ghazali is and uh, the health of philosophy, and uh, on three issues he uh, declared them non-believers on the co-eternity of the uh, of the world, on the denying the resurrection of the bodies on the day of judgment. And saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the universes and the particulars. And he add to this after mentioning the have to philosopher. Number two, that which we set forth in the denial of botanism. الرد على الباطنية فضائح الباطنية really but there are many books on uh, in which Imam Ghazali uh, critiqued and refuted the methodology uh, of the uh, الباطنية the, Really, the, today we talk about the uh, Ismailis, whether they are sticking to their original uh, position or not, that's a different story. And um, there was um, an academic who uh, works with the uh, Aga Khan. Uh, um, academic institutions in, in the UK and in London and he said that uh, that the Ismailis are thinking at least that that institution uh, they they think about re-establishing uh, the, uh, the prayer and fasting and they have dropped this for a long time there are there are uh, Ismailis, different sects within the Ismaili, the Ismaili uh, uh, themselves a sect, of course, different branches. I think there are those who do uh, pray. And Imam Ghazali, uh, in, in one book, for example, uh, he named it uh, Al-Mustadhiri. This is named after Al-Khalifa, uh, the, um, the Abbasid Caliph, Al-Mustadhir, uh, Billah. And uh, also Hujjat uh, al-Haq and also Qawasa al Bataniya, the proof of truth and fragments of uh, Botanism, and the book of the explanation of disagreement on the principles of religion. This science has an instrument by which one knows the methods of debate. Indeed. The methods of dispute 
by true argument. These we dealt with in the book of uh, the book, the touchstone of reflection. And in the book, the standard of knowledge. The criterion. Rather than standard. In such a way as not to be found in the works of jurists and theologians. And he who is not acquainted with these two books cannot be confident in regard to the real nature of argument and doubt. The third concerns the knowledge of the bounds of legal judgments laid down for specialization with regard to wealth and woman and woman in order to seek help for the continuance for the continuance of life and offspring. The jurists are entrusted with this knowledge. This is the quarter of pilgrimage. The relationship of the theologians this is the quarter of pilgrimage um, but there is no um, this is the quarter of uh, so why it's the quarter of jurisprudence when a man's dealing with others yes Explains, it explains the specialization with regard to wealth. The quarter on marriage, Rub oh. Nikah. It should not be uh, maybe within the quarter, another division. That's the only way. So on Nikah, on marriage, the section on marriage, let's call it. Though in Arabic also it uses Rub'a and Nikah, which is, uh, as I said, only in terms of the uh, subdivision. Let us call it section on marriage. Explains the specialization regarding the means of production of human species, that is, woman. Rub'a al Jinayat, the section on crimes. Explains the restraint of those who bring disorder. To these two, the need for this kind of knowledge is universal because it is connected first with the goodness of this world and then with the goodness of the life to come. This is why one endowed with this knowledge is distinguished by the position of great fame and reverence and by being held in preference to others such as preachers, storytellers, and theologians. For this same reason, much research has been done on this science, so much so that it has exceeded the necessary measure. As a result of this, numerous books have appeared on this subject, especially on its disputed problems. Although disagreement is near and error is not far from truth, everyone who makes independent legal judgments, watch the head, comes near to be called right or to be uh, said to have earned one reward should he make a mistake and his opponent, it is said, to have two because he is right.
for this same reason much research has been done on this science so much so that it has exceeded the necessary measure as a result of this numerous books have appeared on the subject especially on its disputed problems although disagreement is near and error is not far from the truth everyone who makes independent legal judgments to which the head comes near to be called right or to be said to have earned the reward should he make a mistake and his opponent is said to have two because he is right but the Arabic uh, is extremely uh, beautiful it does not say opponent it simply says sahib or sahib hajran And to his companion, to his colleague, to his simply we talk about a mujtahid who got it right. And it's not an invitation for anyone to venture into ijtihad because if you make a mistake, then this is a mistake that is. Uh, rooted still in deep knowledge of the issues and one might still make a judgmental mistake but since great influence and renown are achieved by this science the motive for excess in deducing branches from it from it multiplied we ourselves wasted a good part of our life writing books on its disputed problems وقد ضيعنا شطرا صالحا العمر في تصنيف الخلاف منه in fact he's going to mention uh, at least three uh, works on the Shafi school of jurisprudence we ourselves wasted a good part of our life writing books on his disputed problems and we spent much of our life composing works on creeds and arranging them in our books the simple the mediator and the concise Despite exaggeration and excess in deducing branches and consequences, the amount of, dis of discussion we set forth in the book, the essence of the abridged Khulasat al Mukhtasar, is sufficient. This is the fourth book of ours on this science and is the smallest of all these uh, works the early generations used to give legal judgments on problems but they did not preserve more than the uh, content of this book But they did not preserve more than the content of this book. وَمَا عَلَى حِفْظِهِمْ أَكْثَرْ مِنْهِ They gave right judgments through God's grace or suspended judgment saying we do not know. They did not engage their their whole life in this on the contrary they were preoccupied with the important sciences and turned this matter to others this then is the manner in which your jurisprudence stemmed off from the uh, quran from among jurisprudence the quran and tradition 
There originates a science named the principles of jurisprudence, Usul al-Fiqh. And Imam Ghazali is considered uh, the first one to though there's there though there were those who must have uh, engaged logic. Uh, it was Imam Ghazali who uh, systematically and intentionally added a chapter, still kind of separate chapter, but it's still it is part of Al Musasfa, his book on the uh, on also fiqh on the principles of jurisprudence, the philosophy, the uh, of Islamic law. It concerns the social fiqh. It concerns the control of the rules of seeking information by Quranic verses and prophetic traditions about the judgments of the revealed law. Alhamdulillah. Um, inshallah we will um, catch up with the with these divisions with the of the uh, of jurisprudence and uh, the fundamentals or the uh, principles of jurisprudence or usul fiqh. But let's just simply uh, remember that it was Imam Ghazali who added logic, um, kind of uh, uh, a must, a prerequisite for the mujtahid, which has been mentioned immediately uh, before this. Uh, so in order to be able to uh, pass judgment, uh, on uh, an issue in Islamic jurisprudence, uh, the uh, the scholar should know uh, logic. Will come uh, probably we should more more li light on this and sh uh, at the beginning of the next session, inshallah. Until then, Subhanakallah, Muhammadik, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illa Anta, Astaghfiruka, Tawbiyak, Assalamu Alaikum, Wa Rahmatullah, Wa Barakatuh.